Okay. Here we have 11.4 expanding a logarithmic expression problem type 3. So this is just like the problem type 2. We've got to apply our rules. We just have to remember that we only have three. Quotient, product, and then exponent. Okay. So, or power. So the first one I'm going to apply here is going to, actually I have to fix the radicals first, right? So we do have a radical in part A. So I'm going to rewrite this as 4x plus 8 to the 5th, and then the bottom I'm going to write it as x to the 2 thirds. The x to the 2 thirds only applies to one term, so I don't have to um, simplify this any further. I can go straight into my quotient rule and take the numerator and the denominator. So log of 4x plus 8 to the 5th, minus log of x to the 2 thirds. Then I do have a product here because I have 4 times this x plus 8 to the 5th. So I'm going to use my product rule. So log of 4 plus log of x plus 8 to the 5th, and then minus log of x to the 2 thirds. Then I do not have a number in the front to distribute, and I do not have an exponent, so I don't really need that, parent, that bracket. Now I don't ever try to decide beforehand. I wait until after I've expanded it using the bracket, then decide whether or not I need those brackets, okay? And normally if it's following a minus sign, you do need them. If there's no minus sign in the front here, then you probably won't need them. So if you can make that determination early on, it's not necessary to write this step, um, but I do it just to be sure, okay? So then now I'm going to take the exponents. There's no exponent here, so this is log 4. This exponent will come to the front, and this exponent will come to the front. And this is the end. You cannot break this any further. Each one of these arguments does not have a quotient, like a fraction. Each one of these um, arguments does not have a product, a multiplication. And each one of these does not have a power, like an exponent, okay? This one does have a sum of the arguments, but there is no property that will allow you to separate the logarithm of a sum, okay? So you cannot expand this. If you try to expand that or somehow magically do, um, and I say magically because there's no rule that allows you to do that, so you just be making up stuff at that point, um, since there's no rule to apply to expand that, this is the final answer. If you try to separate this x plus 8 somehow, you are wrong, okay? And it will count you wrong if you try to do that. Remember, the whole goal is that the arguments are not, there's no products, there's no quotients, and there's no powers, okay? Once you have that, you are done. So then now for this one, we're going to do the same thing, so we're going to apply. Now this doesn't have an index, so it's automatically a 2. So I'm going to rewrite this as, um, I'm going to put a bracket here. So I have x plus 6 to the power 3 over x to the 5th, but the whole thing will have a 1 half exponent because of the radical. Then that 1 half exponent does need to apply to the numerator and the denominator. So then this becomes x plus 6 to the 3 halves, and this becomes x to the 5 halves, okay? Now that's as simplified as it's going to get. Again, there's no rule that says if you have something plus something else with an exponent that you can just apply the exponent to both terms. That's not true because what an exponent means is it means that thing times itself in times, in of them, okay? And so when you do that, you're going to have like, four terms just multiplying these two out, you know, and then when you multiply it by the other one, you're going to have more terms and more terms and more terms depending on how high this exponent is. So you don't just end up with just the two terms, the one in the front and the one in the back. You're going to have terms in the middle that are missing, okay? So you can never do this. And I have seen so many people do that when they get to calculus, and it drives me crazy because you should have learned this back in, like, intermediate algebra, not even in college algebra. Just in regular beginning algebra, you learn this process. You learn what an exponent represents, and it represents repeated multiplication. 
Um, you cannot just square the numbers individually. There's no rule that says you can do that. Okay. No rule that says that this is equivalent to that. So when you do that on your paper, you're breaking the laws of mathematics. Okay. And it will be counted wrong. So just keep that in mind. I'm going to erase it because I think I need the space in order to finish the problem. But the lesson is still there, right? If you watch the video. So what that means is that I cannot just take this exponent and give it to x and 6 because there's no rule that says I'm allowed to do that. I would actually have to cube that, like x plus 6 times another x plus 6 times another x plus 6, work it all out, and then take the square root of that, okay? But that's not what it's asking me to do, so I'm not going to do that, okay? My point was just to point out to you, do not... Give the x the 3 halves and the 6 the 3 halves because that is not correct. So I'm going to go straight into my properties now. I'm going to start with the quotient rule. So I have to take this numerator and then this denominator. So log of x plus 6 to the 3 halves minus log of x to the 5 halves. Then I don't have any products. There's nothing multiplied by this x. And there's nothing multiplied by this x plus 6. So I don't have step 2. There's no product in either of my arguments. But I do have powers in both of my arguments. So I do have to use the power rule, which is to bring down that power to the front of the log. And bring down this power to the front of the log. And now you'll notice that my arguments don't have any quotients, don't have any products, and don't have any powers. So I am finished with this. And again, just like the other problem, do not try to break this up. There's no property, no rule that allows you to do so. If you try to, you're making up stuff and that will get counted wrong, right? So that's it for this section.